this technology helps to increase just the number of people I can help. It's been very good for me and my clients. I'm Dr. David Dubin. I'm the CEO of Lifestream Direct Neurofeedback. And we're going to talk for a little bit with one of our practitioners, Dr. Doug Cowan. And here he is. Doug, could you say a few words about yourself? I'm licensed as a marriage and family therapist. I have a doctorate in psychology. And I've been licensed for over 30 years in California. I'm licensed in Arizona as well. And I have a, a, a fairly full practice for a little teeny tiny town. I live in Bear Valley Springs, California. That is a suburb of Tehachapi, California, which is about an hour outside of Bakersfield up in the mountains. So my community has about 6,000 people. The total zip code has about 35,000 people. And I have, I enjoy a, a full practice as small as you can get. I'm out of my house. I work out of my house. How would you, so, uh, can you compare your practice before and after using uh, direct neurofeedback? Before the, using the direct neurofeedback, I would see maybe 22 people a week and I would be exhausted. I'm, I'm old, right? So I'm 64 years old and seeing more than 20 people a week for just counseling, just how does that make you feel counseling? would wear me out. So 22 people a week would be a lot, 24 people a week would be a lot. And then when I integrated live stream direct neural feedback into my practice three years ago or so, a lot of my clients wanted to do that instead or in addition to the counseling. And now I run 28, 29 appointments a week and I'm not tired because it changes the way that I'm working with people. So we still connect with each other. We still talk to each other. I still share life with each other. I still provide counseling, therapy with people. But, but maybe for those people, and it's probably 75% of my practice, that at least half of the session is they are working with the unit, working with the technology, and enjoying it immensely, changing tremendously. And I'm not fatigued. So that has been, I think the nicest part of it is I can see, I can actually see more people per week and not be really exhausted at the end of the day. It's been, it's been really helpful for me that way. Uh, it's been helpful for my, my clients as well. 24 clients before were really all I could do when it was just counseling out of fatigue. And now uh, 28 clients, 29 appointments a week. It's okay. So it's, it's allowed me to expand my practice where I could hire technicians or interns. Yeah, it's by using the technology, it's very scalable. And I could see where I might have been at 40 appointments a week, 45 appointments a week. But I, I limit myself in terms of how many hours I'm going to work, how many people I'll see. So it's very good for that. How would you uh, say the course of your client uh, during treatment be different using uh, direct neurofeedback versus not with using direct neurofeedback? People are changing much faster, especially if one of their issues is anxiety of any level, any kind. I'll give you an example. I had this girl come. Um, I, I'd known her since she was a child. I've been, lived in this community for 30 years, so, so I know a lot of people. So I'd known this girl. She's 20-something, college student, social anxiety disorder. Uh, since she just never grew out of that two-year-old social anxiety so here she is in college. She's afraid to go in the classroom. She just pushes herself, afraid to go to church, afraid to go to work, afraid to do whatever. And we did like 12 sessions and she's just done with the social anxiety disorder. We did probably four sessions and it, it wasn't a problem session to session. We got out to eight sessions 
She's running two weeks between sessions. We get out to 12 sessions. She's done. She called me four months after we finished, said, hey, can I get a booster shot? Came in. She's doing great, just great. So it's a whole different pace with certain profiles of patients where how long in talk therapy would you be talking to somebody for a social anxiety disorder versus this, which just changes the way her brain's working and frees her from that problem. So anxiety disorders respond really well. I, I've noticed that. I don't know if that, that answers your question, but that's a pretty good example of what what's the potential. Can you say anything about, uh, let's say, your enjoyment of your practice or the satisfaction of your practice by adding uh, live stream direct neurofeedback? This technology helps to increase just the number of people I can help and how fast I can help them. And anytime I'm helping people, it's energizing for me, knowing every day I'm going to get to help somebody in some way is, is great in my life. And it actually helps my clients to, to a great degree. So I would encourage you as a therapist, a psychologist, a medical doctor to really look into this because it will help energize you, energize your practice, um, and energize your your patients, your clients. It's a it's a good thing. So thank you, and we'll talk again soon. Hey, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much. All right, take care.